Hey guys, it's Mr. Abby from the Academy of Science and Citizenship. Uh, since we were going to take it easy on you guys this week, we're going to have Friday. We're not going to have expect to have any work. Um, we're not going to send out anything or anything. So I wanted to, this week, instead of having you guys send me notes, I was going to do something that is a little hard to take notes on, but it's fun. So it's a little experiment you can do at home with very basic stuff. All you need is a little bit of red cabbage, some water, and some basic household materials. And I'm going to show you how that works now. Um, what I've done here is we've got some cabbage water. All you got is a little bit of red cabbage. You can mash it up in some hot water or warm water. Um, and that'll give you a little less color than we have here. We, we boiled it so we got it nice and dark so that we can see what happens when we add some household uh, chemicals too, but we're not working with anything complicated or dangerous today. We're going to do some very simple things. So we're going to start, this is going to be our water cup. That's going to be just the cabbage, juice, and some water. And then we're going to move this way with our vinegar. We're going to move this way with our baking soda. And the last one, we're going to test something that you probably also have around the house or can get pretty easily. So first off, we're going to Take a nice look at our water sample. We can see that it's purple. A little hard to see through because it's so dark. Let's see what happens when we add a little bit of vinegar to this bad boy, which is going to be our first acid one. I'm just going to pour a little bit of vinegar in here. Oh my, it's like magic. So you got a very nice pink maybe maroon color from the acids. Let's see what happens when I do something that I happen to know as a base. Now again, acid's something that we hear about a lot. It's like we think it's gonna melt our skin. We see it in alien movies and stuff like that. Well, this is much more basic. I wrote vinegar here. So vinegar is acidic. So is stuff like lemon juice. But the opposite of an acid is what's called a base. So I have here some baking soda that I know is kind of basic, so I'm going to put it on this side here. Oh my, we got a nice teal here. Very nice pretty blue from our base. So we can see we've got regular water is neutral, what we call neutral. It's not acidic or base. We've got our acid and vinegar that turns a very nice pink here. We've got our bases that turns a very nice teal, kind of blue. Now I want to see what happens when we add lemon juice. Because I want to find out, is lemon juice more acidic than vinegar or is it less acidic? So let's see if we can test that. Ooh. Ooh. Got a much lighter pink. So it's changed more than the vinegar did from that base dark purple. So I think that your lemon juice is gonna be a little more acidic. And that's the cool thing about these. So you can test all sorts of things around the house. Make sure you're asking your parents what they're okay with you testing in the water, but you can test each of these different things. And if you really wanna be super inventive, you can be like a investigator and you can make some pH Strip indicators. Oh, I kind of touched one with my fingers. I think I got some uh, base on it. But you can make your own little pH strips. Now, in science, when we when we do experiments, we'll use these little piece of paper that you can turn into a pH strip. And if you put a little bit on a Q-tip or a coffee filter, you get the same thing. So if I touch my vinegar with this, whoop. See so how it's turned a nice lighter pink. But let's try one of these with our, our base, our baking soda solution. You see that's turning a nice lighter blue compared to the purple. Boop. Pretty cool. And I stick one on each end. Look at that. So one's my base. Whoop. One's my acid. It's pretty cool. And you can test all sorts of things around the house. If you're willing to dump a little bit into a cup, boom, you've got a nice acid to base collection here. But if you use your test strips, you can just dip a little bit into something. Let's make this little cup my 
lemon. Or if you want to try another kind of juice like apple juice or orange juice, you can see if it's more acidic or base. What would you say? All right. So I figured that'd be a nice fun little experiment for you guys to try. It's very easy. You just need red cabbage and maybe some juice. Vinegar will also make a very good acid. It's nice and weak. So I mean, wash your hands after you're done, but it's not going to hurt you. It's very delicious on chips. Um, some baking soda. A lot of us have this around the house if our moms bake. If not, it's pretty easy to get a hold of. Again, we, nothing we absolutely have to do because we're going to take it easy this Friday. You don't even have to write and send me notes. We just wanted to have some nice fun stuff for you guys to check out over the weekend. A little bit of red cabbage, a little bit of juice and baking soda. You've got yourself a nice fun activity. You guys have a great evening. And if you really want to, let me know what kind of things you test. You can do a lot more than this. So let me know. You guys have a great night.